Good morning, City Prez. Uh, I'm going to be leading us in prayers of the people for today. And I'm going to pray for different things around the world and around the country and our state. And then ask that you join us in the Lord's Prayer. So let's go before the Lord today. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we as a church are still able to gather for you. Lord, we thank you for the technology that you've given us so that we're able to join together as one body, as a church. And I pray, Lord, that this would be reflective of how our individual church is related to all the other churches. Just as we are separate as City Prez, I pray that it would be reflective as how all of the other churches, all the other bodies um, are one with you, Lord. So I pray, Lord, that we would see that, and we are thankful that we are able to be together. And Lord, just as we are a church and a community, and Lord, we are reflective of the community that we see in the Trinity, Lord, we pray for those who are lonely right now. There are many of us who are alone, many who maybe aren't physically alone, but feel alone. We ask, Lord, that you would comfort them, that your Holy Spirit would be near to them, and that they would know that they are not alone. We pray this especially for those who are affected by the coronavirus. Lord, many who are sick, many who are unfortunately dying. Lord, we also pray for those who are in nursing homes, or those who are vulnerable, many people who seem to be alone and are suffering from this sickness. Lord, we pray that you would watch over them and that they would not be alone in this time. And so, Lord, we pray for healing. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to heal. We ask, Lord, that you would help the hands that do heal, or that you would empower our healthcare workers. And we ask, Lord, that you would also provide them with proper protection. We ask, Lord, that the country would be able to be supplied. Lord, that we would be taking care of those who take care of others. Lord, we um, just pray for our healthcare system. We just ask that you would watch over them. Lord, we pray for innovation. Lord, we pray for all the many companies and the many engineers who are putting together their heads, trying to come up with ways to create life-saving devices, trying to come up with ways to create protective devices. Lord, we ask that you would be with them, that you would continue to spark innovation in the minds of all of these different workers. We ask that you would be with them. And Lord, we just pray for all of our small businesses. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would watch over them. Lord, we pray that they would be, um, that you would guide them and lead them in the tough decisions that they have to make as they try to figure out how to make payroll, as they try to figure out how to pay their rent, how to pay their mortgage. And Lord, we just ask that you would be with them. And so, Lord, we pray for the many people who have also been laid off. We ask that you would please help them to um, make wise decisions, that you would also help them to be able to get the resources that they need. Lord, for the many people who aren't able to make their rent, for the many people who are no longer under their health care, Lord, we pray that you would watch over them. Heavenly Father, we pray for other vulnerable populations during this time. Lord, we pray for immigrants. Lord, we pray um, for them and ask that you protect them and watch over them because many of them, Lord, do the jobs that require the most in-person relationships and jobs. And so we ask, Lord, that you'd watch over them and protect them. And Lord, that um, we would not turn our back on Lord, we also pray um, just for other vulnerable populations, such as those who are in nursing homes or those who have weaker health. 
Lord, we also pray for the homeless who are not able to self-isolate. Lord, we just pray that you watch over them. And Lord, we pray as we continue to look at data that is affecting the African-American communities in our country. I pray that it would highlight systemic racism that is prevalent. Lord, we just pray that we would not um, turn away from that data, but Lord, that it would cause us to um, help those who need it. Heavenly Father, we pray for corporate social responsibility. Lord, this week, see, hearing about Shake Shack and Ruth Chris taking all these loans, claiming that they're small businesses, Lord, we just ask that companies would be wise, that companies would be um, caring, that they would understand that they have larger impact than just their bottom line. And so we pray that you would watch over not just them, but Lord, we pray for other major corporations, that they would realize that they have direct impact in how we go through this situation, we go through this pandemic, and I pray, Lord, that you would please watch over them, give them wisdom, and help them to care for their neighbors. And so finally, Lord, we pray for the our government. We pray for the government aid that was just passed this week. Lord, we pray that that money would go to those who really need it, that it would go to the small businesses, that it would go to the mom and pop shops. And we also are thankful, Lord, that the money is also going to be going to hospitals to help them combat this virus. And so, Lord, we're thankful for that. But, Lord, we know that with big, huge legislation, there's often a number of loopholes, a number of things that get missed. And so we pray for that. We pray that those loopholes will be stopped. And we pray that those things that are missed won't be missed in the next legislative session. Lord, we just pray for our, our government. We pray for our White House. We pray that they would be wise. We pray that they would make good policy, that they would lead this country. Lord, please, please be with our leaders and watch over them and give them wisdom. And so, Lord, we pray for Utah. We ask that you would watch over Utah, that you would help us to um, continue to figure out how to deal with this pandemic. And I just pray that you'll give wisdom to the governor and give wisdom to our legislatures. Um, please just watch over them. Um, and, Lord, um, we also pray for the protests that are going on around the country, protesting the lockdown. Lord, we just ask that. We just ask for wisdom and that they would, um, we would hear their side, but Lord, we also ask that um, we would be wise in our decisions as we begin to think about opening up. And so Lord, finally, with all of these things, Lord, we just pray um, for your church. We pray that your church would rise up. We pray that your church would be able to be an active partner in helping to heal these communities and heal those who are affected. Lord, just please be with your church. And so, Lord, we recognize that you are God, that you are Lord and Savior. We recognize that you are in control. And so in this world of chaos, in this place where things seem so uncertain, where the economy seems like it's taking a dive, but yet we also need to be protecting those who are vulnerable because of this virus. Lord, all of these things, we just lift up to you knowing that you hear us, that you are a good God, and that you will take care of us. And so, Lord, we're thankful for all of these things. And so we pray as you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.